Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. Apologetics seeks to give credible answers to curious questions, to give a defense. Are we commanded to be joyful? Interestingly enough, we are. Philippians 4.4, Paul the Apostle writes, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. What we see is a verse that has a double commandment. He tells us twice, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. It's imperative that we have a joy, not a cheesy, glassy-eyed, phony, fake, inauthentic kind of joy, but a real kind of joy, a tasteful joy, a missional joy, a, a trusting joy that's rooted in God. Christians, think about it. They should be the most joyful people in all the world. We're the forgiven ones. Our, we are the ones whose guilt has been taken away because of what Jesus Christ accomplished on the cross. And sadly, I don't think many people wake up on Sundays and think, boy, if I really need some joy, I just need to get to the church. I don't think that non-believers think that way. And if you're a non-believer watching this, I want you to understand that according to scriptures that Jesus gives us a joy. In fact, I believe Jesus was very joyful. And so we are commanded to be joyful. Far from this idea of God as a curmudgeon or God is somebody who wants you to be boring or is God who's just a party pooper. Rather, he commands us to be joy. Imagine being accountable because we did not have an, a joy in God. So what does it mean then to be joyful? It means that our joy is in the right source. Rejoice in the Lord, Paul says. Well, what's the source of our joy? The Lord is the source of our joy. And that's what we're commanded to do, to make sure that our ultimate joy is found in God. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart, the scriptures say. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And so we need to get after God. He's the one where true joy is found.